the time has come to reveal the brand new washer dryer to the collection. My first washer dryer and one that works. We're going to reveal it. So, I want you guys to sit back in your chair or wherever you're watching and brace yourselves. Because were you right or were you wrong? Let's find out. And you're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. <laughs> Behind these covers are machines, but what one is what? So what I'm going to say is, for those who are familiar with Thought Park and you know, or if you've been on Stealth, you'll know what the uh, ride announcement says. Place your heads back, face forwards, hold on tight and brace yourselves. So, how many of you are expecting my new washer dryer to be? This. Oh. Wrong machine. Sorry, Millie. No, you're not new. You're not a brand new machine. Let's try that again, shall we? What's that next to Millie? Oh, yes, this is the machine, I think. <coughs> Didn't realise there were two machines here. Okay, so. You must be sitting there sweating, wondering what it was. You guys know I've been looking for a washer dryer for actually over two years now I've wanted one permanently in this collection. I've been through one that I didn't keep, had a WD640G, that was a nightmare for balancing, but it was a very good washer dryer, beautiful colour. Um, and what else did I have? I had that Maloney Electra WD1100 which uh, went to service courts. That was a temporary one until the machines came back from Australia. Uh, now Oh, oh yeah, after that I had that, then I had that Creda 17317D, which turned out to be crippled. Probably was an easy fix that I didn't know of. Oh well. Now I've been hunting and I've been driving people mad about what machine it is. Uh, about what machine to find me and whatnot. So Charlie, I know you sent me a few guesses as to what it is. Um, let me read them out, what he said, and we'll see if you're right, mate. He says... Here we go. Ones I can imagine you'll be getting. 1990s Hoover washer dryer. So that could possibly be a classic or a new wave. It wouldn't be a Logic because I'm not a fan of the Logics, really. Hotpoint wd 44 og Ooh. He's good. Probably. Hotpoint WD-860. Mm-hmm. I was talking about the idea of having that because he's got one, as you remember. Which is actually working now. Ah. Hotpoint WD-64S. Ooh. Oh no, that's one of my dream ones. Ariston Margarita AWD12, could also be. And an Indeset Evolution washer dryer, which you didn't know the model of, and I had a laugh about this. Uh, the model number for that is WDE12. WDE12, if you, yeah. Um, I think they did a WD12 and a WD14. Hey Charlie. And I think some other people submitted some guesses. Some people think it's a hot point. You all know I love Hoover hot and hot point. CJ, uh, Mila Softronic, I think that's your name. You were saying that you think you know what machine it was because you've seen it on eBay. Okay, so guys, ready to see what machine I've got and what you're going to be seeing in my collection from now on? This is going to be my permanent washer dryer. Ready? Drum roll at the ready! <gasps> what is that? Okay, how many of you seriously right now are like, what in the hell? Yes guys, you are not hallucinating. If you've had the vaccine, you're not, you're definitely not hallucinating. This here is indeed not a vintage Creeder. It is not a Hot Point 99 series. It is not a Hot Point WD64. It is not a Hoover Classica or New Wave. No, this here is an LG Direct drive, eight kilogram wash, four kilogram dry, 
washer dryer model F1496 AD in white and chrome with a 1400 RPM spin. It is also a six motion model. <laughs> See, you guys think you know me, but you probably don't. No one ever knew I was toying with the idea of getting one of these. As always, the introduction to a new machine, I will tell you the story behind this. So, Charlie isn't wrong with one of the machines he guessed. A Hotpoint WD64 in Zircon Silver was my ultimate highlight that I wanted to get. This, by the way, has replaced the Cassata, so if you're disappointed, I'm sorry, but this is what I wanted. This is uh, the washer dryer that's replaced the Cassata in this place, in her place. And as I said, 5,000 subscribers, we wanted something to reveal, and I was going to plan to get a washer dryer. I searched up and down the country, every single place, looking for a WD-64 to no avail. There's only polar white ones available. As you guys know with me, there's no compromising with me. It has to be specific colour and model, etc. So, that went out the window. There were WD-61, 63s and all, but no. There was a Zircon Silver WD-64, which had a door off it. But, um... But... Um so they didn't respond. I toyed with the idea of, now I did want a Miele washer dryer, but we know that they're too heavy. This by the way is only 62 kilograms. This is really light these machines are. So purchase this, uh, so I, now as I was searching for WD-64s on Marketplace, um, as you know, Marketplace doesn't automatically search for what you're looking for. It will also like, you'll type washer dryer, but it'll bring washing machines and fridge, freezers up. What's that, my extension need turning over? Something. Um, so basically, these kept turning up, like, in between my searches. There's the silver one, which you might remember I tested at British Art Foundation in September 2017. And that's what started me off really liking these, because I finally got to see how it works. And now, guys, I know you've known me as a guy that doesn't always like modern machines, but you know what, over the past couple of years, I've learned to realise that um, and there's, a, uh, there's someone, I think they're called Cookie Laundry or 12 Cookies at 12 on Instagram. I put up a thing about, you know, there's no such thing as a perfect brand. LG are very reliable, but they have their flaws as well. Every machine, no matter how old or new it is, has it, or where it's made in the, in the world, has its flaws. Even Miele do. We know they do. Every brand is not perfect. I don't need to, ha I thought it would be nice for once to try out something very different. I'm not fuss that I've given up a space for a GEC hotpoint because I know that one day when we move I'll be able to get one of those in my collection. They're not rare. Um, this is a bigger capacity than Miele, uh, than Millie. This is actually an 8 kilogram model so it's also good for me because I can do a lot of large loads in there. So found this one on eBay, £150. Perfect working order. It was just down the road for me. Uh, courier came and dropped it off this morning. Seller actually offered me 135 as an offer so took that. Very helpful seller. Got it in today. This machine was absolutely minging inside, but I gave her a clean out and we've just done a intensive 60 maintenance wash with some Kill Rock. So we're going to do the first load, which is behind me, a load of white towels. I thought that'd be very nice for this to do. Um, this machine is bloody quiet, but that's really good because I can have a machine that I can use later on at night. I'm going to talk you through some of the features before we get loading. So I know you guys must be still sitting there thinking, what on earth? Like... So now it must be confusing. You now don't know what machine I could ever be going for. So yeah. And uh, uh, Matthew Washing Central, he actually commented on one of my videos. Is it an LG washer dryer? He only meant that as a joke. There you go. You were right. And no one guessed this at all. And no one even went anywhere near it as guessing. So yeah, we'll talk you through some of the features. So with the machine switched on, listen to this. You do a little chime. So many nice colour lights on here. So we've got all the programmes here. You've got Cottons, Cotton Eco, Easy Care. I've got some nice new programmes I can play with on it that I've never had on a machine, such as Sportswear. That'd be interesting, even though I don't have any sportswear. Type 1 uniform could go on that, actually. Wool uh, Cycle, Quick 30, Rinse and Spin. And there's a trick on how to get these to do a spin only as well. Baby Care, that's an interesting cycle. Can default spin anything else? No, it can't. It's 800. Intensive 60 is what I just did as the top. Uh, there's also a top clean function on this. And then you've got the drying programs, my favourite. So you've got time dry. I believe this is the sensor dry model. Low temp dry for synthetics and acrylics. And then you've got iron dry, leaves them slightly damp. Cover dry, extra dry. 
in the end here we've got all the nice you've got a lovely display on here so I can see how long we've got left you've got your dry there that's if you want to select a dry after the program pre-wash time delay we've got a time delay let's see how long we got up to I think it's 24 hours they got up to 19 hours okay not bad <coughs> I love that beat they have Okay, intensive, and here's my favourite option, medic rinse. So that heats the last, the final rinse up to 40 degrees Celsius. I can't wait to be using that. And you also, you've got start button here, your spin speed, you've got, uh, so 1400 RPM, that's really fast for a washer dryer. Uh, that I've wanted, so that's nice. I've now fulfilled a space for a 1400 machine. Rinse hold, no spin, 400, 800, and 1400. Not the widest of ranges, but I'll always be using it at 1400 unless the program says otherwise. Defaults at 60 for cotton, but you can go all the way to 95, cold, 30, 40, and 60. <coughs> um, if you hold these two, that, that activates child lock. It only happens once you start. Hold these two in for a tub clean function, so we'll demonstrate that one day. Um, <coughs> I have removed the plastic shield off the door, which has had. Gave her a good clean. Oh, a bit of still a bit of mould there to go, but that'll all come off with a foil wash. Um, empty. We've got a filter down there, which is nice. Mum really loves this machine as well. Um, yeah, and there's our. I believe that could be June 2012. I've got to figure out the date code. I've got somewhere on my Facebook from when I went to British Art Foundation. That's plastic, but. It's solidly built, so we're going to get a load on them there, and I'll finally introduce my first washer dryer. Let's go, guys, because I'm basically new to these, really. I've only ever seen them work once, so I'm new to what this will do. Unlike a conventional washing machine, LG's revolutionary direct drive motor delivers power straight to the drum, maintaining a smooth, balanced action. This helps to reduce vibration, so the direct drive is whisper quiet even at 1600 RPM. The absence of brushes, pulleys and belts also eliminates the source of the most common repair problems. With durability and reliability built in, there's less to go wrong and more to go right. I'm really excited for this, so let's get a wash on. Um, of course, she's a washer dryer, so um, even though she's an 8 kilo load, we won't be doing a full 8 kilogram wash because... Um, we want to do an also wash and dry. So, <coughs> load of white towels. So I'm going to put my, I'll make sure my grubby bath sheet goes in. I don't know if we'll fit everything in, but we'll see. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm going to have a cough. The suspension knocks a bit on this machine. I don't know whether it's just a thing of it being stiff. You might get that last one in, let's see. Uh, let's minus this towel. And minus that big one. That's a perfect size load. So for this load, she's a coal for lonely machine by the way. So that's the first for me to have one of those. I'm going to use um, 120 mils, so I'm going to do some in there. I'm going to also do a pre-wash as well. And the Lion Scar tablet, I brought some today, so this machine will definitely need it in the drawer. I always buy the Tesco ones because they react faster with water than any other one. Uh, this is like a birthday present to me. And conditioner as the marine mist. I'm going to be naughty and put a little bit more in, just half a cap, because why not? This is exciting. Right, let's flick her on. So we turn the dial to cottons. I'm going to do a pre-wash, I'm going to dry, and we also want a medic rinse, that's everything, 1400 RPM, temperature at 95 degrees Celsius, we've pretty much got all, we could do intensive, but that's probably going to be really long if we do that, so 
without further ado, I think we're ready to go. So now we're calibrating. <coughs> oh, load sensing now. I hope you guys like the new intro as well that we've done. <coughs> of course now the machine will be re revealed. So if I'll show you what the display is doing. This is just the machine tumbling back and forth to weigh the load, so this is good, it has a load sensor. <coughs> so it flashes to let you know 4 hours 16 minutes long. That's a long time that is. But we might drop it down. That's that. So the machine flashes to let you know what stage of the cycle she's on. I'm doing a little pulse flushes here. And you'll get to see the six motion on this. I don't know if it does it doing the pre-wash. If I do it doing the main wash. I guess I'm taking it in. Oh, it's flushed all the pre-wash through. So those who own for those who own a direct drive, you'll know that the motor sort of moves the drum a bit. <coughs> And now we're filling. It's good, cold water, so I'm saving on hot water with this. I'm getting the best out of my detergents. We will do a review on this machine at some point. <coughs> nice chrome door as well. Just, it looks basically like Mila, like Millie. Doing the regular action at the moment. Nice sound the inverter's got. And I know that I've often said to people I hate inverter motor machines, but you know what? I think LG are one of the ones I quite like. There's nothing wrong with them. I just like machines that are loud, the ear, the brush motor. But you know what? It's nice to have a quiet machine from time to time. But LGs have got a very Distinctive sound to them. Yeah. Just a face mask. I think I've chosen a rig. This was the top of the line model, I think, at the time. Make sure it had to be a six motion model. That's a really good uh, load I did, not it? <clears throat> the owners definitely use a lot of powder in this. It's good. So we're draining after the pre-wash. I don't know if it'll spin or not, it'll be interesting to see. Probably might have gone straight into the main wash. You have to ignore the, uh, the pump's quiet on this machine. Like old gurgles a lot. Oh yeah, the machine does that. Uh, flushes out the last bits of detergent that might be remaining in the drawer. the main wash now I think. I don't think it will spin. I might be wrong. Let's 
short tumbles. No, no, the drum sort of like jiggles, it's nice. I gotta be honest with you, I actually really am much more happy with this machine than I know I would have been with a hot point WD64. WD64 is basically the cassata, slightly modified. We're doing the same thing. This is something totally new, and I've got so much to play with on this machine. It was a quick decision, I saw it, I was like, you know what, my heart told me to go for it, I was like, do it. Uh, that means distribution. So we're going to spin. Um, of course, these machines do have kind of out of sense of out of balance sensors, but nothing too much. There you go. I'm sure these can spin anti-clockwise too. Or maybe the older ones could. There you go. <laughs> That's a no. Oh yes, there we are. Oh no, we're just going to tumble back and forth. <coughs> I'm sure the older ones used to do that spin anti clockwise. That should be good. The drum is slightly off centre on this. ASMR with this machine. All oh, got on balance. Um, it's either the shock absorbs all the pump that knocks on this a bit. Hardly any movement at all though from the machine. That's good we do a spin after the pre-wash. Stop. Might be filling for the main wash now. What? <laughs> Are we smooth? Interesting. That's a no. Tumble that way to redistribute. So, of course, there's no motor on this machine at the bottom, it's just at the back of the drum, that's what's good. Oh, that cookie laundry, laundry or cookie, I think the name is. Um, I forgot you have the same machine as well. Well, a similar model. The AD5, which is the silver version. That's not going to spin. That might be the boundary. <coughs> Are we actually balancing this bit? Sounds smooth. Oh, this might be load sensing. Oh no, it is spinning. It is spinning. I haven't thought of a name for this machine, by the way, so... Oh, 
a moral is she made the most of it. Probably the shock absorbers might need replacing at some point. There's hardly any movement from that. The door tends to move a bit, but wow. Quite <coughs> about 800 on this, I think. And then we shut the pump on and off. It's good after a pre wash we do that. Where do we go? How quickly they slow down how they sound. Well, that should be it now. Do you think we're filling? We're just doing little pulses of filling now. But this is the main wash now. <laughs> and we fill. see the six motions of this thing. <coughs> I think this is one of the actions. Stepping. There we are. Or is it scrubbing? I can't remember this. Drop, turn, drop, turn, drop. Let me have a look on YouTube. I can't think. Sure, that's the stepping. <clears throat> stepping, that's stepping what we're doing. Yes, 
stepping that it all does. People didn't know their machines did that, they'd probably, they'd probably be thinking something's wrong with it. But this is filtration now, this is like a power stream. This is what I really love that they do. <coughs> so that's the second motion, filtration. Look at the amount of suds we produce. That is awesome. So they're saying that's good for duvets, the filtration mode. <coughs> we're doing an anti-clockwise filtration mode now, and we're also heating up to 95. That doesn't mess about with heating. This is amazing, this machine. There's some really stubborn stains on them towels, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, we won't do all six motions at once, it only just does a few. I think the machine will do it according to what cycle you use. Because we haven't seen the swing one yet. So I think this is just rolling and normal tumbling. This could be, I think it's just tumbling really, that one. So that's another motion. So you see about three, four motions, I think. I've given absolutely no clues. Well, no, I, I did drop a hint, but Charlie didn't get it in a message that I sent him. I put something about driving home from work and saying it would be a direct, a direct journey, and I put direct and drive like underneath each other, but he would not have got that. Thing is that I could say the number six for this, but then it's like. It kind of gives it away then it's something modern. I think we're doing shuttle runs now. We'll cool down. That's good that we do that. <coughs> Luke loves laundry 18 is chatting with me about the washer dryer. Well, he doesn't know what it is yet. But, really?
So with a washer dryer, the cycle time will always appear much longer. That's because of the drying cycle. That acid detergent has behaved as well with this. The machine's draining now, so it should be the spin. I believe the, fir the first intermediate spin is 1000 RPM. From what I've known from the other one I tested. The main wash was really not too long, that was really good. We're doing just a little uh, pre-tumble. And here we go, this is the distribution. She's gonna say no. Immediately. <coughs> That'll be a no as well. No way that is go not going to spin that. No, no way. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of balancing going on. <coughs> oh, I might spin now. We actually do a pre-spin beforehand, which I think is to check the balance. I hate that plug hole that keeps gurgling. That's 400 RPM. Yeah.
front panel flexes a bit there, but the actual machine's quite stable. That's got to a thousand. Unless it's because we have to balance a lot. Oh wait, I haven't tried the 95 degree cycle on this. Well, dry cycle. Let me see how uh, the level is. Okay, medium level, <coughs> low level, but that's quite a big drum, so. <coughs> it's like load, we don't need too much. Oh, very good tumbles. second intermediate spin, that's quite a short rinse, but <coughs> doesn't need to do too much. Well, I think we do three rinses for one, but the medic rinse is going to be the best part. And that help, what it does, I think it, it helps dissolve, it helps um, dissolve any undissolved detergent. Thank <laughs> you. 
be nice if we could do a first time spin. No. There's a tiny bit of water left in there. <laughs> no, I'm balanced. I'm trying to think of a name for this machine, I'm just judging by how she acts. That might be fine. Wow, seriously? That actually looks... <coughs> that actually looks okay. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, that's detected, it's unbalanced. Let's see, does that stop? She might stop. I know if some of them do that, they'll actually... Yeah, there we go. She knew she was unbalanced. That's because the load's a bit lighter now. See, the WD6 Roche should have done that. Not gonna work. That's not. Oh. <clears throat> See, LGs are sensitive, but they're not actually too bad. <clears throat> This is interesting. Mm, that might not spin that. We're not going to bought, are we? No. You know what's funny? I'll put so many bath sheets in there to try and. Yes. No. <laughs> Still, though, doesn't beat the WD640 for the amount of attempts that thing did. That's going to be a no. 
And I don't think that these machines give up very easily. No. We're going nowhere with this. Yes! That is fun. <coughs> That's gonna stop. Oh, there's no way that's spinning up like that. There's no way that's gonna speed up like that. Wrong. a bit lenient. <laughs> That's a really long spin that took. Be any vibration from that old, yeah, that's quite a balance. Isn't it? Second rinse now. <clears throat> I believe we do three rinses. So. <clears throat> Once I filled, I'll check if we took the conditioner in, but I definitely think we wouldn't do that. Really good that we do that fast of an intermediate spin. And for loads that I'm not drying, we'll just use them either, but I'll only ever use this machine if I really want to sit down and watch. Yeah, it's true what Charlie said, I have found the one with this machine. This is the... Never would have thought I'd have gone for something like this, but it's nice. It's, it's nice. I think I've actually felt better going for something that I was never expecting to get, than going for something which I've been searching for for a long time. So to say like a service sapphire, <coughs> I probably probably would have known everything the machine was going to do. And anyway, it's nice to have something with an out balance sensor that I know I can't damage by putting something heavy in there. Because that's the reason I didn't want to go for a Hot Point 99 series. If I've got that 9901 that's currently on there, well there's a 9934A, even though I want the 9934W. I know how like unstable those washer dryers are because they've got no counterweight to the top. I think I would have just ruined the machine by putting towels or like bar throws in it, it would have destroyed itself. So at least I know I'm safe with this machine. Balance sensors to me aren't all that bad. 
As long as they're just not stupidly sensitive like the WD-640 one. Oh, we've taken the conditioner in. Okay, so we only do two rinses. In that case, we're going to do, uh, uh, well, this will be the medic rinse then. <coughs> so we're going to heat up to 40. That's good. However, the drying time can change because it all depends how heavy the load is before we start drying because I know the machine calibrates it. I don't know if you can hear the heating element on. This would be really good for someone like me with sensitive skin. nice to hear a modern machine that actually has an audible heating element because a lot of the ones I've tested like a British Heart Foundation you could not really hear the element. So the machine's actually heated to 40 on the medic rinse. I love the way we swing anti-clockwise and then go the other and then we actually go clockwise. The paddles on this machine are really good as well. I've seen them get in the side shot. You might see them when I first look at oh, I suppose you can't really see them much but yeah they're up there. Wavy design. There you are. This machine's perfect in every way. Charlie is absolutely certain it's a WD64. It's, it's actually so funny looking, thinking, nah, this machine's totally different. And finally, we're on the final spin now. It's now coming on to midnight, but it doesn't really matter because this is a quiet machine. Oh, we've got a name for this machine, by the way. Um, we're calling this machine Kelly. <coughs> I think it's a very su suitable name. Uh, there's, there are reasons behind it. Um, oh, draw flush. I think Kelly's a name um, that describes someone who's feisty, or looks feisty. I guess, so imagine a girl that looks feisty. Um, looks strong, but he's a, I mean, sort of like a gentle person, so, because this machine's very gentle on the clothes, very gentle with spinning and whatnot, very quiet, but I've seen LGs as like the boss of the machines. That's not going to spin. You know, the machine's confident, knows what she's doing. So Kelly, I think, is a very good name. Also, we can't really use an old-fashioned name for this machine because she's modern. So Kelly's a good sort of modernish name. Uh, Millie, of course, was named that because it sounds like M Mila, but you know, that's because Mila's have got very old-fashioned ways about them. So yeah, Kelly, she's called that. We could call her Curvy Kelly because she's got curved control panel. They're going to go. Hmm. Of course, as well, the name Kelly came to mind because, um, as you know, I watched Coronation Street and there's obviously someone they call Kelly. I actually follow the actress on Instagram, I should let you know. Who's weirdly called Millie Gibson. So, we're done. <laughs> Happy birthday, God. Thank you. 24. 24. 24. Very good. Yeah, you should do that. Oh, you didn't hear me coming down like... And that's why I couldn't talk, because you were on... on you can talk. I've always said you can talk in my no, videos. No. Yes. Right. Well, earlier on, you were caught singing in this. Well, you were singing to the 80s stuff. No! Yes, you can hear you in the background. Maybe someone else is telling. No, no, it's you. <laughs> oh, 
Huh? Why? You, it's silent. You, no, no one's going to hear it. doing the stepping now. So that's probably because this machine's a washer dryer. So I wonder if this machine will do that between all the other bursts. I like the idea we do this in between. Is it going to be Wells' longest final spin are we going to have? Is it probably. There we go. There's a water gushing through the hose. I don't know if we'll spin that. I can hear the shock absorbers knocking a bit. Knock, knock. I don't want to, I don't want to see the back of the drum. sound smooth. I mean it will get smoother as we go along. Okay. The loudest thing on this machine is the pump. That's saying something. Yeah, the loudest thing on this machine is actually the
Yeah, this is going to give us trouble. Knew it. Just instant no. She's really giving a hard time over this one. But. I'm getting some good posts man, for my birthday. <laughs> so I'm officially 24 now. That's no. Come on, Kelly, it's so bad. <laughs> Come on. That sounds smooth. Oh, what? Wow. This is more fussy than I thought. Well, I suppose we were going to 1400 pounds. No. Oh, it's just instant no. It's like there's no holds bar over the projection. That's another thing. I think. I think of a girl with that kind of personality would suit this machine. That name. She doesn't want a guy, she'll say no. Oh, if there is any Kellys that are actually following me, don't take any offence. Oh, come on, that's smooth. Go for it. That's smooth. That's smooth. I guess smoother as the load, <clears throat> load becomes lighter. Yeah, that's good. I think LGs have got very rigid suspensions at the moment. Because there's a lot of resistance in pulling the. We've got about a thousand of this stock to run down. That's the thing with LGs though, even though they're sensitive about it, they know the method of spin first to get the water out and we can make the load easier to balance. The WD6 row just starts trying to rebalance straight away when the load is soaking wet and heavy. <coughs> Time's kind of might need to look at that shock absorbers. Well, the same that the machine was doing it when empty, so I also think it's something to do with the pump. I'm intrigued to know if we do a thermo spin. We've taken 10 minutes so far to do this whole thing. Bearing in mind, we hold up 14 under for 8 minutes, I believe. Very long video to spin there. I think we're about to 
find out about 1,000. Yeah, that'll be about 1,000. It's about where it's going to stop. tumble in between. <coughs> Fine. Wait. That's good, so we do a little anti-tangle in between. Sudden jerking would sort of pull everything off the side of the drum. I like how LG call it a washer and dryer though on their drawer. See this is a WD64, no way I could run it the same. Right Kelly, you've made your self known you're doing an anti tank and shut the bomb off Kelly, now I'll start spinning. does this. Funny thing is, I don't think I remember the other one doing it as much. <coughs> yeah, it's funny though, the pump is the loudest thing, isn't she? Here we go. Please be balanced. Sounds smooth. Now she's going to be super sensitive because this is the final ramp up. That sounds perfect. Quicker at getting into distribution than the Miele is. There we go. I think we're committed. Final spin video. I've got my drive so much room on my computer. Wow, hardly any movement at all. Oh, that is perfect. cycle of film as well. <coughs> 
starts off at 400 RPM. Definitely know this one ain't going to go dancing. I've put chapters on this video also to make it easier to go through. I think we ramp up to 1000 first, then 1200 and 1400. Inverter motors tend to make more noise at lower speed than at high speed. Cabin crew prepare for takeoff. The fact it's an 8 kilo drum as well means that the machine's got greater G force exposure. The drum itself, the inner tub is actually moving a lot more than the outer tub, so it looks more unbalanced. There's literally no vibration from the machine at all. One thousand RPM. It's my favourite part of the cycle. It's always the final spin. Straight to 1400. That's 1200 now, I think.
full speed now. That's 1400 RPM. Not even the slightest movement. Listen. I can hardly even hear that. That's whisper quiet. Nothing from that. Enjoy the sound. There's only a slight bit of vibration from the door, but the cabinet of the machine is like nothing.
I love the sound of them decelerating. Right, now we're getting ready for the drawing cycle now. Calibrating the load now on the drawing cycle. Here's the dryer fan come on in a minute. This is the part I've been waiting to hear for ages and see a washer dryer do this. So we're calibrating the load now. It's going to weigh how much time probably. Two hours and five. And we're drawing. That's the drawing panel. <coughs> Come on, I wait for the it takes to, so the fan comes on first. Yeah, elements come on, and we're drying. Oh, it's getting lovely warm up there. This is what makes our coffee lovely. So, it might be morning by the time I come down and actually end this video, so I'm just going to let this thing continue drying. I'm not sure if we do a thermos then. I'll sit down for another 20 minutes just to check. In fact, the drone fan is the loudest thing on this machine. <coughs> it's getting really warm there, getting really hot there. <laughs> it's lovely. They'll probably start, she'll probably start puffing steam out of the drawer. That's exciting knowing that this is drying. A washer dryer that finally dries. <coughs> No more fluff. Goodbye to the white, white night, white shine. <laughs> May take longer, but it's fluff-free. It does it all in one. dry fluffy towels. But it gets hotter than a normal dryer on there though. What's the other one? That's the one we're taking. That's about 
over an hour, we're about just exactly an hour into the drying cycle right now, and we are producing over 107 degrees Celsius worth of heat. Um, there is steam coming out of the drawer, but you can't really see it. It's hot. So, I've just remembered this machine plays a chime when it fin she finishes, so, uh, got to be down here for that. Towels definitely look a lot more drier. Perfect, always wanted to see a washer dryer drying. Oh, yeah, <coughs> yeah he's gone. God, 99 years old. I know, it's like... Okay, so we're cooling down now. Just about to finish the tunnel drying. Definitely a lot more drier now, so... We do a 20 minute cool down period on this, and I'll come back to you when we're done. It's exciting. Like twenty to three in the morning almost. <clears throat> I'll get back to you then um, when we unload and we'll find out the results. Because it's late, I haven't done the chime on this machine, so we're going to open now. Hot and steamy. But it's still quite, oh god, they're still quite a little bit damp. Cool, oh, blimey, that's warm. But you know what, they are actually dry. They're just slightly damp, which is what you're supposed to have. And that will uh, require a rinse out fluff cycle tomorrow. Uh, they always say you should leave your towel slightly damp, like these are. <clears throat> a lot of the moulds come off, which is good. <clears throat> so, a bit more on that tomorrow. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> uh, yeah, pleasure to have this machine. Finally, got a working washer dryer. And um, there'll be many more videos to come. There's a lot of programs to play with on this. And yeah. So my birthday tomorrow. We'll uh, do something spectacular. Going on into City 125. So yes, this is her. This is Kelly now, as she's known. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow.